I wanted to just take a few minutes and reconnect with this group because it's been a while since I've spoken to you. It's been a while since I've seen you. Um, when we last spoke, you know, we had a chance to really connect about what this opportunity was for you and why it was so important and why I wanted you to lean in and how much effort others around you are making to make sure you're successful. And I still reiterate all of those same points to you. So hopefully you've gotten out of this what was promised. Um, but, but what I also wanted to do is is to give you um, a few other thoughts as you now migrate out. You've come through the tunnel and now you're back into the sunlight and I wanted to give you some opportunity to maybe think through a few other things. So on the one hand, my challenge to you, um, take this opportunity that you just had, take this experience that you just had and turn it into something concrete for yourselves whether that's more knowledge, whether that's a new opportunity, whether that's something as far as a different job, or whether that's just a different sense of confidence that now I have a capability and a skill that I otherwise didn't think I have. Turn this into something concrete. Don't let this opportunity pass that was just a cool thing that I did for a little while and now I'm back to my regular every day and that passes away turn this into something concrete that you can leverage and use and make it worth your while for having spent the time. The second challenge that I would give you is turn this into concrete goals. What are you going to specifically do with the knowledge that you got? Who are you going to specifically take with you on the journey that you just went on? And then finally, how are you going to evaluate whether or not this worked or didn't work for you? And I would suggest to you that maybe you even um, write it down. Maybe what you do is you write down, take a list of what are all the signs of success that are coming out of this DS4A program for yourselves. If I see the following things, I know this was worth it. If I see the following things, I know that I'm falling behind. I call that signs of success and signs of slippage. And the signs of success are all of the things that if you had set out goals and you had an expectation for what this program was going to do for you, what are the characteristics that I need to see in order to know that it's actually happening? And then signs of slippage. What are the things that I need to be looking out for so that if they were to start to occur, I would know it's time for me to adjust and change my direction. I think those are two important steps for you to take in order to know that I'm still on pace, I'm still doing what I need to do, or if I'm running off course, it's time for me to course correct. I think that's just a simple thing for you to just make sure that you're always keeping your eye on what was the ultimate prize that I was looking for as I went through this program and as I decided to go through this challenge. Because this has been a pre pretty significant contribution. It's been a significant commitment and it's been something that hopefully you're getting the results that you were looking for in joining this program. Now, I just slightly mentioned, but will now mention much more directly. Bring somebody with you. Who's the person or people that because you've had this experience that you want to share this experience with them? I can tell you when I met Rashid and Sham, I was impressed. I brought people to the table. Since then, they've delivered for me. I brought more people to the table. Since then, we've talked about new projects so that we can reinvest in this program. We brought more people to the table. Since then, some of you have gotten hired by some of the partners that we have brought to the table so that we can bring more people along as we go. And I've got people on this call from my team that are listening to this conversation that know that their mandate is to find jobs at Universal for people that are on this call. So that's just my contribution in the last few months that we've known each other. I'm challenging every one of you to do the same. Who are you bringing along? Who are you making better? 
Who are you giving exposure to? Who are you giving the opportunity that you were afforded? Who are you bringing to the table? Because I can tell you the only way that this industry gets deeper, this organization gets better, and that you continue to develop is that part of your mandate is each one reach one. So I just need you to, I, that, that's the other challenge that I wanna make sure each one of you have is to be asking yourselves every single day that you wake up in the morning, who am I bringing to the table? The other thing that I would ask of you and that I would say to you is what is the higher order purpose for why you're doing what you're doing? I talked about what it means for you personally. I talked about what it means for whomever you bring into this. But what I didn't touch on is what does this mean for society? What does, what does this mean for the world at large? What does this mean for the communities that you come from and that you live in and that you habitate? What does this mean for all of the people that don't even know that this is available? I need you to be focused on what's the higher order purpose that I have to offer beyond just what it means for me and those in my immediate circle. So, so the other thing that is really important to you and that is critically important to me is what's your contribution in society as a result of this experience? What's the higher order purpose that you have to offer? And tell me how you plan to change the world from the seat that you sit in. Because every one of us has the opportunity to change the world from the seats that we sit in. We don't think that sometimes because we think that we're small. We don't think that sometimes because we think that we're not influential. We don't think that sometimes because we don't think that we're famous. But in some circle that you roll in, there's somebody that looks at you as the coolest person in that circle. And I don't know what that circle is, and I'm not sure who those people are. But you should be thinking about who am I influencing and how am I changing the world from the seat that I sit in? Because I can guarantee you that there's somebody somewhere that looks up to you, that you're the example of them. You're the example of what they're looking forward to. They're, you're the example of what they hope to be. You're the example of what they're learning from. And I'm asking you to make sure that you're always thinking through what's that higher order purpose that I'm delivering. Because there's somebody out there that's watching you. There's somebody out there that's looking up to you. And there's somebody out there that sees you as changing the world from your seat. And they hope to one day have the seat that you have so that they can change the world in the same way that you did. enough challenges. Let me spend five minutes and applaud you. Congratulations, first of all, for your for your your commitment. It was a conscious decision to make this commitment. Because you didn't have to. You could have gone about your day, you could have gone and done your job, you could have gone and spent time with your family, you could have gone and done your routine. And you could have let this opportunity pass to somebody else, but you chose to dive in and you chose to participate and you chose to engage. So congratulations for making that decision. The second thing that I would say is congratulations for seeing it through. There's lots of people who start lots of things and there's very few people who finish what they start. So also congratulations for seeing it through. Because by the way, for those of us that are employers, that matters. Just want you to know, for those of us that are employers, somebody who sees it through, that matters. Because if I'm gonna put multiple millions of dollars of value in my company in your hands, and as you continue to grow, maybe billions of dollars of value of my company in your hands, I have to know that you're gonna see it through. And I have to know that you're gonna finish the work that you started even when it gets challenging, even when it's daunting, even when you're not sure where to go, even when you get knocked down or disappointed, that you'll still stand back up and that you'll continue to journey and see it through. The last congratulations that I'll give you is congratulations for expanding your networks. Congratulations for every one of these boxes becoming the central part of your network now. And I would fully expect 
that you will have cultivated these relationships to a degree now, and that you will cultivate these relationships in the future, that this becomes your cohort, that this becomes your class of, that this becomes your crew. Because at some point or another, every one of you will be CEOs, CFOs, chief data officers, chief strategists of some company. And I would expect that every one of you will be calling on your colleagues and calling on your cohort to say, come run this company with me. And I would fully imagine that when you put the power of all these people together, that's gonna to be a really, really successful company. And yeah, will Rashid and Sham and I sit back and go, check that out. We had something to do with that. Absolutely we will. Don't think for a second that we won't sit back with pride. Don't think for a second that your mentors won't sit back with pride. Don't think for a second that all the partner companies that are on this call won't sit back with pride and go, yo, I had something to do with that. But our joy comes in seeing you fly. I'm already in the seat that I'm supposed to be in. I'm already doing the thing I'm supposed to do. I'm out there seeking my next, but at the same time, don't think for a minute that I'm not sitting back going, look at my crew. Look at what my people are doing. Look at how my people are flying. And every single person that's invested any minute of time in you in this program is going to do the same exact thing. So congratulations for expanding your network. And congratulations for making all of these people your people. Because I says, as I said to you the first time I met you, I don't even know if you know how impressive you are. I don't even know if you realize how much in demand you are. I don't know if you have any sense, if you have any sense of how special you are from the seats that you sit in and the aspiration that you have for the seats that you will get in the future and the world that we're gonna live in once you're sitting in those seats. I don't even think you understand. Our job is to give you that idea. Our job is to give you that light. Our job is to give you that understanding that you are awesome, more awesome than you even know more off awesome than you can even imagine. But what you'd have to do now is harness that awesomeness. Harness that awesomeness into action. Harness that awesomeness into change. Harness that awesomeness to create a new future. Because I know you sit back and see that every now and then there's a question as to whether or not our world is moving forward or moving backwards. I know every now and then you sit back and you go, are people getting smarter or are people getting less smart? Because sometimes I wonder, are people getting smarter or are they getting less smart? And it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys to make that answer be true to say that we're moving forward, to say that we're improving, to say that we're growing, to say that the world is getting better and to be able to quantify what your contribution, what your contribution specifically to that improvement is gonna be. So yes, I congratulate you for making the commitment. And yes, I congratulate you for seeing it through and absolutely, I congratulate you for expanding your network. And no question, I challenge you to make the world a better place from the seat that you sit in. But here's the other thing that I ask you. I ask you to be thankful. And I ask you to be humble. And I ask you to be appreciative because too many people in the world have expectations 
or take things for granted or are less than gracious for the gifts that have been given to them. They assume that those gifts are just there for them. They're entitled in their way that they think it's just supposed to come because I said so or because I'm here. And very few people are prepared to earn the greatness that's been given to them. And so what I would say to you is for all the gifts that have been given and for all the opportunities that have been put in front of you and for all the accomplishments that you've had, be thankful, be humble, be appreciative, feel honored and take that as a sense of responsibility to not only give it to somebody else, but to see it all the way through to see it all the way through. Because every one of us wanna sit back one day and go, I had something to do with that. You make us proud. You make us really proud. You make us emotional. You make us proud. You make us feel fulfilled. You make us feel joyful. It's because of you that we do what we do because we don't wake up every day and go through our day without thinking about who did I touch today? And so my closing comment is when I sit on this call and I see all these boxes, every one of you whom I've never ever met, I sit back here and I go, these are mine. And I had something to do with that. And I know we all feel that way. So congratulations to you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Thank you so much for this program, Rashida Sham. Thank you to all of the networks, all of the partners, all of the sponsors, all of the mentors, and everybody else that's behind the scenes that we might not even see and know. Because I know every one of you sit here beaming with pride. And in some way or another, every one of us know we had something to do with this. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate your time.